Hello, I'm George Cannon from Spider Holster. I'm going to show you the process for installing the left side holster and pad on your Spider Pro belt to create a dual camera system from your single. The first step in the installation process is to install the plates on your camera. You want to decide which camera is going to be carried on the left, which is going to be carried on the right. One plate is set up for the camera you'll carry on the right side. The pin is installed next to the R on the plate. The other plate is set up for the camera you'll carry on the left side. The pin is installed next to the L on the plate. The wrench to install the plate is built right in. It stores right in the side of the plate. Easy access and always there for you. If you turn the plate over and look at the bottom, you'll see it has two bumps or two shoulders on the front edge of the underside of the plate. These are going to come in contact with the front of the camera body and they will keep the plate from rotating while being carried. That way it'll never loosen up. Remove the wrench and insert it into the plate screw and begin to thread this into the tripod socket on the bottom of your camera. Before the screw is completely tight, while the plate is still able to move, you want to slide the plate back until the shoulders on the underside touch the front of the camera body. Then take your wrench and tighten the plate screw. Then you can store your wrench back in the plate and you're ready to use. The next step in the installation process is to adjust the Spider Pro belt to fit your waist. The main adjustment on the belt is on the left side of the buckle. That's here. It's important to get this adjustment correct right in the very beginning because once you mount the second holster to the left side, it's going to be difficult to adjust this side of the belt. The belt includes an adjustment on the right side of the buckle of about three inches. This adjustment can be used to fine tune the, and get a perfect fit of the belt and to change the adjustment uh, slightly uh, depending on the clothes you're going to wear. So the first thing we'll do is adjust the belt to fit the waist by sliding the buckle out on the belt to fit my waist size. It may take a couple of tries to get this exactly the way you want it. Not bad. Once you feel like you have the belt adjusted to your waist size, and when you adjust this, you, want to, you don't want to adjust it for high on your waist. You want it to adjust it so that it sits comfortably just on your hips. Hang your camera that you're going to carry on the right side in the right side holster. Be sure that the location of this is correct, that it's going to be easy access for you to reach and lift your camera out. Then take your second holster with the pro pad attached and slide it onto the belt on the left side. You'll want to adjust this forward or backward to find the right location so that when your camera hangs on the left side, it's going to be easy to access. The best way to lift the camera on the left side is to grab it by the lens barrel and rotate the camera up and lift out. Once you're comfortable with the way the cameras are hanging and you've found the proper location, you may want to move this slightly forward or backward. You don't want to move it too far forward because if you do, the pad may come in contact with the front of your thigh when you kneel or bend. So make sure that you have it in a location that's going to be comfortable for you to wear regardless of how you move. Once you have these installed where you want them, simply take your cameras out and take off your belt. The belt has a triple lock buckle, so you need to press top, bottom, and the button on the front of the buckle in order to release it. Leave your holster attached on the left side and lay the belt face down on the table. With your belt laying face down on the table, you want to note where the location is that you've placed the left side holster. If the holster is going to be attached in the wider part of the belt, up here on the padded part, if that's where it's hanging, you don't need to change anything on uh, the holster or the pad. However, you can see that my holster is going to be mounted on the narrower part of the belt here. In this case, this is where we'll use the additional um, belt clip. 
So what I will need to do is note the location of my holster, remove this from the belt, and I'm going to need to change this clip with this one. Using the small Allen wrench that comes with your kit, you're going to remove these four screws that hold this belt clip on. Once all four screws are loose, I can remove this clip and replace it with the shorter clip. You can see the holes where the screws go line up. The next step is to remove the pad from the back of the left side holster. This is done easily by removing the two large washer head screws that hold the pad on the back of the holster. Now I'm going to place the holster back onto the belt in the position where I originally had it located. The next step is to remove the two screws that hold the tension spring at the bottom of the holster. These have been revealed by removing the pad. Once those screws are loose, simply slide the tension spring out and you'll notice there's a little piece of tape in here on the inside holding the stainless steel insert in the bottom of the holster. You want to be careful not to lose that insert. It's important that it stays in place. Next we're going to slide this uh, tension spring back in between the two layers of the belt, the inner layer and the outer layer. These are velcroed together so it may be a bit difficult to work this in. If you need to slide the holster up you can do so to separate the velcro. Just don't lose the location of your left side holster. This is going to go right between the two layers. Like so if you need to work this back and forth a little bit to get this up in between there, you can do that. Once you have the tension spring back in place, simply reinstall the two screws that you took out. Now that the tension spring is back in place, the holster is captive on the belt and will not lift off. Now you'll reinstall the Pro Pad. You'll want to separate the layers of Velcro on either side of the holster. Then take the ears of the pad, that's these portions that stick up on either side, and insert them into these areas between the layers of the Velcro and push the pad as snugly as you can up underneath the belt clip until you see the holes for the screw showing through where they should be. Then reinstall the screws to hold the pad. When tightening these screws, tighten them until they are snug. Don't over tighten them. Now turn your holster and belt back over to the other side and make sure the velcro layers are snug and tightly fitted over your pad. That completes the installation on the left side. If the placement of the left holster is on the wide or padded part of the belt, this is the process for installation there. The first thing you'll do is remove the Pro Pad. And lift it off. Underneath you'll see two more screws that hold the tension spring in place. You'll want to take those screws out as well.
Now lift out the tension spring. You'll see underneath here, there's a little bit of tape holding in the stainless steel insert, which is in the bottom of the holster. It's important not to lose that insert. That needs to remain in place. Now you're gonna separate the layers of Velcro where the holster is attached. And you're going to insert the tension spring in between those layers of Velcro. You may need to work this back and forth a little bit to get it in between. If necessary, slip the holster up and separate the Velcro a little bit more. Once the tension spring is back in place and the holes are lined up, simply reinstall the two screws that you took out. You want these screws in snug. You don't want to over tighten. Now you'll reinstall the pad. You want these screws snug, but do not over tighten them. Once they're back in place, you're going to Flip the belt back over, and you're going to pull these ears of the pad, the, the extensions of the pad, to the front of the belt. Just like so. Then you want to bring the Velcroed layers of the belt open and attach them over the ears of the pad. We tuck that in right there. Now your holster is secure, the pad is in place, and you're ready to use your dual camera system. So now take your belt, put it back on your waist. Both your holsters are installed. You have the left and you have the right. That's the spider camera dual camera system in the installation of the left side pad.